こんにちは、さとこです。Welcome back to my Easy Japanese lesson.Today, I'm in Dubai for work and I'm here for 48 hours and this city is quite fun actually.、Um, almost as if I'm looking at the future, you know. And last night, I went to,、um, I went to have a dinner at,、um, in front of the、uh, Burj、um, Khalifa, Khalifa, Burj Khalifa. It's one of the, it's actually the tallest building in the world. And yeah, I watched the、uh, fountain shows and everything, and it was so nice.、Um, so I wanted to share the、uh, video of the fountain show, the world famous fountain show in Dubai. It's pretty amazing, right? And tonight, in about four hours, I'm actually going back to、uh, flying back to Toronto. So I just wanted to do a quick lesson before, I, before my flight. So we've been learning hiragana, right? And we have come to、uh, quite a bit of a long way. So we were learning, well, the first line of the hiragana is a vowel line, right? That's a, i, u, e, o. And the second line is a K line, that's ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. The third, well, if you add two dots with a K line, that would become G line, right? And that is ga, gi, gu, ge, ko. And we have been start learning S line. And we have learned sa, that's sa to ko, sa. And if you put two dots, that would become za, right? And then also, Um, the second one was she, and then two dots would become G. So I know it, it is a Z line, so this sound, it's more like G, J, I, G. Okay, no Z, I, but G, I, more like it. And then we are going to learn the third one, which is su, and also zu with the two dots. Okay, so the su. Let's take a look at the stroke orders. The first stroke、um, is going to be the horizontal line. So just like horizontal line like this. And then the second line is、uh, you're going to write the vertical line as if you're writing the cross. But in the, right in the middle, you're going to write the um, little um, circle and then keep going and just let it go. Okay, that is su. Okay, and now we're going to learn some vocabulary. And now you can read this character. That is su, right? So if you say su, that means vinegar in Japanese. And how about this vocabulary? Now can you read this? The first one, of course, that is su. And how about this one? We just learned it on our last lesson, and that is shi. And so, sushi, sushi, that means. Sushi, of course. And so this is how you write sushi in Japanese, okay? Sushi. And how about this vocabulary? Do you remember the first word? First hiragana? That is the very first hiragana we've learned. That is a. And then that's, of course, su. Asu. Asu. It means tomorrow. And some of you might、um, know tomorrow as ashita. So, asu is more like a formal way of saying、uh, tomorrow. So, if you're talking to your friend, you can just use ashita. So, asu is more like a formal way. All right? And now, let's learn zu. So, you just have to add two dots、uh, right top corner of su. That would become zu. All right? So, now the vocabulary. If you just write Zu, <laughs> that's zu, that means drawing. That's like drawing in、um, general, okay? And then how about this? That is interesting, isn't it? The first one is we just learned su, right? And then the second one is with the two dots. That would be zu, suzu, suzu. It means bell. Yes, suzu means bell. 
And then the very last uh, vocabulary. So this vocabulary, can you recognize the first uh, hiragana? So that is ka, right? Ka. And then of course this is zu, kazu, kazu. It means number. All right. So today's lesson was how to write hiragana su and zu. Thank you for watching, guys. Domo arigatou gozaimashita. If you still have them, please subscribe. And if you like, please press the like button. Arigatou. And I'll see you guys on our next lesson. Jane. Bye bye. From Dubai.